way to experience the art for all ages and interests is happening right now at the Fine Arts Center. So right now, Sarah again joins us live and local downtown, showing us inside the uh, FAC's Bemis School of Arts. Sarah, good morning. Good morning, Craig and Abby. I am taking the kids class today because I am a beginner as well. What do you think of this flower here? Good. Yes. Oh, thank you so oh, good much. Answer. Oh, so <laughs> Joined right now by Linda Sagastume. You are a youth art instructor here. Yes, I am. Good morning to you and thank you for joining us. Yeah. It's my pleasure. Also love the glasses. <gasps> Thank you. So cute. <laughs> um, and we want to talk about this art project because how did we get here? They're still working on it. Well, we started with some special art tissue. Great. And it's made to uh, activate with water. And so we took little pieces of different color tissue and water on our watercolor paper. Great. And now they're setting up and the water is activating the color and we're waiting to see what beautiful shapes we're gonna have when the tissue comes off. Great, and this yeah. isn't like gift wrap tissue. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's special art tissue that you can art order online and it's called art tissue. Great. And you can see as we start pulling these off, we're gonna start pulling off your tissue and seeing what we have underneath. You get these wonderful effects. And it it's, is so easy, especially for kiddos, to kind of start doing. It's really hands-on, fun, and we also wanted to talk about art, especially for kiddos, how that helps with brain development. Yeah, you know, it just, this creates a really fun layer. And brain development, when we're engaging with art, we're using our right and our left brain. And that uh, enhances creativity and thought and inspiration. Like, what inspires us? When we start doing art, we look around the world and we discover different things that offer inspiration. And I love the story, Sarah, that um, <clears throat> at Stanford Medical School, uh, there was a cardiologist teaching a class. Mm -hmm. And you know what he uh, advised his students to do? What was that? He said, learn how to draw the heart so you can be a good cardiologist. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so that just kind of you know, shows you how the brain engages with uh, hand-eye coordination and creativity and Great. observation. And also coming okay. up, a very exciting event here at CC, the Summer Music yes, Festival. The Colorado Summer Music Festival is co coming to Colorado College. <laughs> and one of the uh, special events will be a youth orchestra Great. playing the uh, music from the Carnival of the Animals by Camille Saint-Saëns. And oh. my art students from Bemis will be creating illustrations <laughs> for the production as they read the book. Great. Well, thank you all yes. so much. All of your little colors are so cute. I know. Look at the fun effects that you get from tissue. That's exciting stuff. Yes. Also, we wanted to give a shout out to the teachers today. Who do you guys want to shout out? We want to shout, shout out to, to the Steel Team. Steel Elementary Teachers. Oh, okay. <laughs> By the way, Woodland Park School District Elementary Teachers helping out with firefighting efforts today. You're amazing. That is amazing. Going to Teller County, so the kiddos get a little break, but not the teachers today. Right. So we want to yeah. thank them especially. Thank them so much. <laughs> yes. Craig and Abby, I'm going to continue painting here. We'll see what happens, and we're going to toss it back to you. How fun! Good I stuff. loved art classes, kids. Oh, as a it's kid. great, right? So much fun. Love yes. it. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Time now. It is. Uh, 728. Well, get this because borrowing new loans for college could soon cost you more. Providing our, an artistic mm. outlet for kids, parents, veterans, and service members, the Bemis School of Art has something for everyone. They do, and right now, Sarah, of course, live and local downtown uh, at the Fine Arts Center telling us all about these classes they offer and how you can sign up as well. Sarah, good morning. Good morning, Craig and Abby. Right now, we're going to talk about the Military Artistic Healing Program. Joined right now, of course, by Tina Reyero. You are an expressive arts instructor. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm honored and grateful to be here. Thank you. And over here, we also have an active duty soldier <laughs> at Fort Carson, Joe Moore. Thank you so much for joining us and showing us your beautiful artwork this morning. Many of these works in here that we're seeing are actually done by Joe. Yes, yes, we have, um, we have had over a thousand participants over the years and the program began in 2009 um, coming from Fort Carson's Warrior Transition Battalion and um, Bemis has helped us organize the programs in a way to help veterans and active and family members. Great, and you guys also do this free of charge. 
yes, we, we believe in community collaboration and um, for the benefits of art and healing. So the purpose is to not have the hindrances of cost at times. Yeah. Great, so kind of talk a little bit about the veterans and their reactions after taking one of these classes. Um, I have documentation that veterans have noted the benefits of self-care, of healing, of understanding the process to express. And it's, um, it's an augmentation also for traditional treatments such as um, cognitive behavioral therapy or EMDR. And, but with expression and laying out colors and layerings and different processes with art, it's a way to just really be present with what they're feeling and how they can express. Great, and not only for veterans, but also active duty and their spouses too. Yes, we love that we can bring in family members and, um, and even kids at times. We've had family programs that children were will participate with um, veterans and active members. So what would be your favorite part of working with these veterans and active duty service members? I mean, just being able to give back to that community. Well, as a professional counselor, I really appreciate the collaboration and the cohesion of the group to work together and to um, just express what you know, sometimes experiences they've had in the past in combat or um, really working through in a healing and comforting and easing way for healing their trauma. Wonderful. Well, thank you both so much for joining us and showing us your beautiful work this morning. And thank you for your service. Thank you to all of our military community service members and veterans for their service. Of course, you've got to come down and try this out. Wonderful program. We appreciate what you guys do for our military. Thank you. For thank you. Us. Craig and Abby, we're going to toss it back to you in studio. So mm -hmm. many options there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sarah. Time right now is 7.48. A way to experience the arts for all ages and interests is happening right now at the Fine Arts Center. Yeah, so Sarah joins us live and local near downtown, showing us inside the FAC's Bemis School of Art. And she's beaming at Bemis. <laughs> uh, Sarah, good morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good morning, Craig and Abby. I am smiling today because it is just such a relaxing morning here. You know, the good thing about art is they're just little happy mistakes. You don't really have mistakes here. That's right. <laughs> Especially for perfectionists. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, as you were seeing earlier. You were like, oh, Sarah, just make a mountain range. And I was like, I have to do it exactly like this one. <laughs> This is Ronnie Smith, by the way, an instructor here at the Bemis School of Art. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So tell us about this class. Uh, this is our uh, watercolor landscape class. Uh, we are focusing on drawing mountains. It's a very beginner, very basic class. Okay. And we're here to not make you feel intimidated. It is step by step, truly a beginner class, and we just want you to feel comfortable. It is a beginner's class, and I really appreciate the fact that you guys did not put me in an advanced class <laughs> today. Thank you so much. As you've learned here, I, um, I'm learning as I go this morning. These are the little happy trees that we're putting in now. And you said to use the small Sharpie here. Yeah, so I would use the small Sharpie. And I usually have the handouts uh, just be sort of, uh, for a visual representation for, for some um, students. So it's really step by step. And then I'm here to kind of facilitate and help you through the process. So really, <laughs> jeez. No, you're doing great. I would just make it a little bit taller. Oh my goodness. That's oh, all right. like a, I don't even know. <laughs> This is so bad. But see, I mean, this is why we're here, and this is what I'm here to help you Thank for. you for the encouragement. Absolutely. They just need to be a little thicker. Is they that what you're saying? They just need to be a little bit thicker. And then at the very, very bottom, yeah, you're going to go a little bit longer, a little bit. A little bit? Yep. Okay. Here we go. So there tell me a little go. bit about, you know, the benefits, especially for art. And you're a veteran as well. Yes. Um, I mean, for me, art is very therapeutic. Um, it has helped me through some hard times. It's almost pretty, uh, it's, it's meditative. Oh, I love um, that. I do enjoy teaching other people, you know, especially if they're very intimidated. Um, but I, I really enjoy teaching the beginning basics because anybody can do it. Great stuff. Well, hey, thank you so, so much for joining us in your Art Tracks program. Really cool, low cost classes for people to join. Yes, that's a, a, a new program for us. Uh, Art Tracks will be really step one in, in your painting. You know, we're going to learn about colors, 
we're going to learn about mixing those colors and a little bit of drawing in there too. Um, but yes, it's very beginner. We're starting from square one. And again, I'm here to help Do you yeah. have some white out? No, don't worry about it. They, this they one does look not great. look like the others here. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Craig and Abby, just don't look at that one. Look at these. Really, these are just happy little trees here. <laughs> <laughs> happy little trees. I That's think, pretty good. I was going to say, it's however you envision it, Sarah. Beauty is in the eye <laughs> yeah. of the beholder. There you go. <laughs> Right. Uh, that's for sure, and hopefully, yeah, because <laughs> this is not a good uh, beauty picture here. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks. Well, providing an artistic outlet for kids, parents, veterans, and service members, the Bemis School of Art has something for everyone. So right now, Sarah, live and local near downtown at the Fine Arts Center, telling us now all about the classes they offer and how you can sign up and join the fun. Ladies, good morning. Good morning, Craig and Abby. Yeah, they made things extra easy for me today, especially <laughs> these little clay molds. Design, which is super cool. Also created by Rui Hagen over here, the clay instructor. Thank you so much for joining us all morning long. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So talk a little bit about your process, how you go from here to here. Okay, what you see here is what we call greenware. So it's been modeled, it's hollow. It allowed to become leather hard. Then I carved it with that loop tool there. Great. And I poked holes in it so it wouldn't blow up in the <laughs> kiln. And so then it will be bis fired so Great. that it will be durable and can be rolled onto a clay slab. And with, we texture everything in the flat first because it's easier to get that texture deep and impress it. And then we start building our structures so pretty. using patterns. And then I say we go from flat to fabulous. Flat to fab. Flat to fab. <laughs> and anybody can do this. This yeah. is a level one class. This is pleasing pictures. No experience required. And people walk out with a roller tool and a lovely picture. And you learn to fabricate clay, glaze, carve, texture. You do it all here. Aww. Available to everyone, completely inclusive, no pressure have a blast. Oh, well, everyone is going to have a blast with you. You're so fun. Thank you oh, so much for joining you. us. Thank you for having me. Of course, and you can continue over here. I know you're busy at work today. We're joining Tara Thomas one more time, yes. the director here at the Bemis School of Art. And of course, we still have the kiddos here. Thank you both for joining us again. Look at the smiles. They're so cute. <laughs> Tara, tell me a little bit about how people can get involved in your summer classes. So you can go online and register at um, fac.coloradocollege.edu. We have catalogs around town. Some folks have gotten them in the mail. So any of those ways you can get involved and get registered. Great, and it's really cool because you guys do have so many different classes that really kind of walk, especially beginners like me, like Ronnie over mm -hmm. here, through landscapes, doing the happy little trees. You fixed my trees earlier. Thank you for that. <laughs> Appreciate it so much. And also classes for veterans, military, active duty, yes. and their spouses. Yes. So six years old, clear up into 106. Great. And what's a good website that people can go to for more information? FAC.coloradocollege.edu. Wonderful. Well, thank you all thank so you. much for joining us. We appreciate you down there, too. Thank you, Rui. We Wave appreciate you. you. <laughs> the kiddos, too. Ashley, we're going to toss it back to you in studio.